Hey there, it's Monday here on the Grey Man channel. It's Metal, Metal Monday, Metal Vinyl Monday, and I'll be showing you some of my vinyl. Before that, I'm going to give a shout out to these guys. Kwana, these guys sent me their CD, their brand new CD, and they sent me a t-shirt, 2XL, because they knew what a fat bastard I was. So these Finnish guys, they're Finnish kind of rocky metal punk kind of band, and uh, they're really cool. I've played them on my podcast a couple of times, and they're always a laugh, right, chatting to them on Facebook and all that, so yeah. Highly recommend them. What I'm going to do at the end of this final video, I'm going to go through my S's. Some of my S's, I missed out some of my S's last week. I thought I'd done all my S's, but I cocked up and missed, left half from behind. So I've got to do all my S's, the rest of my S's and my T's. And at the end, I'm going to put a video by these guys at the end of the video for you to check out. So check out Kwana. I'll be playing them on my podcast again on Sunday as well. And uh, check out my podcast. The link is below. Uh, here we go. So let's do the vinyl then. So starting off the rest of the S's, this is Skeletal Earth. Eulogy of a dying planet, is that? No, eulogy of a dying fetus? Yeah, something something tasteful like that. <laughs> I've got a bit of glare going on there. It's always always a problem. Any kind of video, you're always going to get glare. Uh, right, Skyclad. This is the one I was thinking about in the last week's show. I thought I had a Skyclad missing, but uh, no, it was literally it was on the shelf below, and I didn't realise that my S's went from one shelf to the next shelf. Uh, it's a bit... The cover's a bit took, uh, chewed up. I don't know how the hell that happened, to be honest. But the vinyl inside is fine. I actually dropped all my vinyl on the, these lot of vinyl on the floor by accident, uh, which was but nothing got broken, thank goodness. Right, another Skyclad album. What's this one? Jonah's Ark. I'm not sure if these are all in order or not. But Skyclad was obviously the band that Martin Welke went to after leaving Sabbath, uh, a more folkier kind of fresh, stroke heavy metal. Uh, the usual core vocals and uh, lyrics that Martin Welke is always uh, known for. Well, these may be out of order alphabetically because I say I dropped them on the floor and I spent about 10 minutes checking if they were back in order and I don't, I'm not sure if they all were. But still on the S's, this, <coughs> this is the only Sodom vinyl that I've got. I've got some CDs. Uh, get what you deserve. Sodom, Teutonic Thrash. Right, and then we've got some uh, Doom Death here from a band called Sorrow. Hatred and Disgust, I think this one is called. Yeah. Hatred and disgust. There you go. Uh, you might hear my uh, roommate. She's outside chatting <laughs> on her phone in the garden. Well, this is a kind of hardcore-y uh, band called Sticky. Kind of like quite a daft kind of band. Uh, they've got some interesting tracks on there. Uh, quite Jehovah's Guys is quite funny. And uh, Senator Hart humped the dumpling. Kind of political, but rather dated now. Senator Hart was someone who got... I don't know, he lost his senatorship for shagging some, some chubby chick way back in the 80s. So yeah, it's definitely not, uh, it's definitely not uh, aged well. Musically it has, but obviously lyrically it hasn't. Right, Stillborn, this, I think this was a band, I can't remember if it was in this one, um, Messiah Mark Holin joined them at a point. I'm not sure if it was on this album or on a later album. Oh, I'm getting, I might even be getting confused actually, but I'm pretty sure he was on this album for a while. Uh, not on this album, but in this band for a while. So let me just check this... No, he's not on this one, but I've got a feeling he did join them for one album at one point. Uh, kind of like a heavy Doom, not not classic Doom, but like a stroke heavy, heavy metal stroke Doom kind of style they were. Right, and then uh, Suffocation, of course. Bit of awesome death metal, old school. Uh, and then we've got Thrash, my one, my one time favourite Thrash band. ST, Suicidal Tendencies. You've got to love a bit of ST, man. These early albums by Suicidal are the absolute fucking mutts and nuts and the bee's knees. Buddy, I listened to these lots and lots of times in my youth. Uh, and then this was uh, the last good album they had. <laughs> Another band who went a little bit bleh, meh in their later days as far as I'm concerned. This was a cool album. Uh, this was an EP. This is not too bad what was on here, I believe. And then with this one, the Art of Rebellion, I thought they got a bit... Bleh, yeah, they just wasn't as good. They, the the faster elements are gone. They they sort of concentrated more on the melodic -y kind of bits, which were good when there was like one track out of ten on the old albums. When it was like nine tracks out of ten on this album, it just wasn't as engaging for my speedy needs. But right. uh, this is an old UK fresh band, I believe, Talion. Um, don't recommend any of the people in the bands. I don't know if they went on to anything else. Uh, but yeah, this is quite, this is probably 89 or something like that. Yeah, 89 this was produced. So quite an old, uh, quite an old UK fresh hidden gem maybe. Bit of tankard of course, you can't fucking, you cannot 
deny Tankard's brilliance. They are an awesome, drunken, Teutonic thrash band with awesome art, cool party metal songs. These are like, uh, um, what's it, Municipal Waste basically copied them, didn't they? Singing about beer, fast. That's uh, right, then we've got some old, straight up heavy metal, hard rock from Tank. Cool, one of their real old bands, kind of new wave of British heavy metal, I think. As well as being, yeah, I think they are, I don't think they still count as new wave British heavy metal. Uh, this is a really early album of mine that I bought, this one, when this one first came out. Uh, I remember seeing it in a review in, I don't know, uh, Metal Forces or something, 1987 this one, so this is quite an early album in my collection after I started breaking away and branching out from Iron Maiden. Right, and then we've got like a cool double album of theirs, like a best of album, got some really cool tracks on here. And we saw Sodom earlier on, of course Sodom have uh, copied, uh, well sorry, covered rather, a couple of um, Tank tracks uh, over their career as well. And they've got some cool bloody songs. Right, talking of covers, they've actually got a cover of Crazy Horses by the Osmonds on here as well, which is pretty cool. <laughs> right, Testament of course, more fresh awesomeness. Uh, I don't seem to have the first album with it. I think I only had that on tape. I think I taped that off a friend, but I never actually owned the first album. Uh, never mind. But, but one of those bands very rarely did anything wrong, actually. Even in this album, The Ritual, when they did their um, toning down, slowing down, being more melodic, trying to appeal to a wider audience, I still found them quite entertaining. Whereas when Exodus tried it, they just pissed me off big time and I hated that record. Uh, when Testament did it, this, this one, The Ritual, I still, I still liked it. Although it was slower, more melodic, it's still somehow in, uh, engaging, you know, I still managed to, I still enjoyed it. I still, I don't know what it was about that one that I enjoyed, whereas the other ones that toned down, I didn't enjoy it. But yeah, T Testament have always been fucking good as far as I'm concerned. I've never had a really, really shit album. Uh, one of the only bands I can think of have not had a completely shit album. And after that, they started going heavier again, like with Low and stuff like that. And yeah, bloody good band. You cannot fucking... Cannot berate Testament's fucking metal fucking credentials, you know what I mean? Right, a bit of uh, Ferry On. This is Ferry On before they became a uh, symphonic whatever rock band that they are now. This is a really good album as well, but uh, this, this was, I was saying, bands want to get rich and, I don't know, famous and popular. They end up fucking uh, changing their style completely, don't they, really? Uh, it's another cool Ferry On album. Uh... But still, when they were still deaf doomish, before they went all symphonic, some of this stuff's all right with that, like that. But you know, oh, pff, yes. Another band uh, changed their style. Tiamat started off as pretty much straight up kind of death metal. This one was Doom Death. I really like this album. I prefer this Doom Death album to the actual straight up death album. This straight up death album, it was like, yeah, it's okay, but it wasn't, you know, doing anything special or standing out anyway. Whereas this one is a lot more. It's completely different to that last album, but it's it's really cool Doom Death. I really enjoy it. It's really um, melodic as well. But then the album after this, they went as far as I'm concerned. They went shit. They went too. They went over the top. There was no kind of deafiness or doominess in it at all. It just went fucking pop, fucking metal. Basically, that's what my mind is. But those are the two Tiamat albums. Right now, this token entry. This is a hardcore album. One of those ones on the Hawker Records, and I'm sure that I bought another round by these guys. I remember like buying it in a second-hand shop, and I don't seem to have it though. But this is a, this is a cool album. A nice sort of heads down, bit of skate, hardcore, punky stuff going on there. But yes, yeah, like oh wait, 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 I possess this guy or something like that. I can't remember now. <laughs> but it's got real uh, cool. I can't remember a fucking word now. It's been a long time since I've listened to it. I'm getting possessed to skate by suicide tendencies mixed in there with their track Jaybird, which is also about skating. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, that I want to do is skate, skate. Oh, that I want to do is skate, skate. That was how it went, I remember now. Right now, Tornaga. Uh, UK Fresh, bloody cool UK Fresh. They came back again. I'm not sure if they're still going since they came back. But yeah, these guys are fucking cool. All their albums they brought out have were, were been good. Uh, they had a long period where they disappeared. But I was a member of their Bastard Squad, which was their um, fit their fan club. I can never remember what number I was. I was digging through the old uh, fan club things the other day, and my number was up there. I think I was like number 37 in their fan club or something like that. But uh, yeah, cool band, Bastard Ballet. It's got signed to a good label. Uh, what was it, Chrysalis, 
brought out this one, a little bit toned down from the Bastard Ballads, it was still a fucking class record, and I think they split up after this one, then they come back recently, I've got a couple of more albums since they came back, and they're, they're still fresh and fucking cool. Uh, then we've got some Welsh Fresh, Tortoise Corpse, they were quite funky and funny, and uh, yeah, good out, good live as well, I saw them at the Royal Stand in Walthamstow, I don't think it was, it was a Saturday night, a week night, I'm not sure what it was, but I really fucking enjoyed them, they were a really cool band when I saw them. Uh, and then we got Torture, another one of those fresh bands that could, should have got a lot further. The, you know, this, I think this might have been their only album actually. I'll, I'll, I'll cut, I, think, I think I might have seen that they recalled re another album like after splitting up and coming back maybe. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that. But this has got that song on it, Sleigh Ride, which is like possibly one of the only Christmas related heavy metal songs. There's a few more. But this has got a really cool track, Sleigh Ride, and Ignominious Slaughter is a, a cool track on the first side as well. But yeah, that's really cool. Right, and then Toxic, Toxic, cool, bloody speed, fresh metal band. Uh, I think they're Bay Area, I'm not too sure now, okay, but they're, they're fucking good anyway. I mean, I saw them, they reformed and they were playing live recently, well, a couple of years back now. Uh, and they never got as fucking big a crowd as they should have done, really. But uh, yeah, they were fucking awesome as well live. They really fucking did the business live, I thought. In fact, I was sharing one of my videos the other day that I did when I went to see them because it only like 12 views. I was like, what the fuck? It's only got 12 views? This is a fucking awesome band. I can't believe more people haven't watched that video. But never mind, that's, uh, that's, that's life, isn't it? Right, yeah, toxic fucking awesome band. Right, now, I think these are German uh, on Nuclear Blast with names like Klaus and Uwe. Uh, yeah, from 1990, I'm pretty sure he's a German. Toxic Shock, fresh metal as well, I believe. Possibly a bit deaf fresh, I can't remember now. But cool cover. Uh, right, now, I did a, a look at one of their demo tapes in uh, my demo tape section the other day. Uh, this is Treason, a London fresh metal band. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, Path of No Return is a really cool track of theirs. The most memorable one anyway, it was on the uh, Taste of Armageddon compilation. Right, then we have Tribulation, kind of punky, hardcore fresh, I think, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, this is on Black Mark. Uh, I think it might be Swedish, I'm not sure it's recorded in Stockholm anyway. Um, but yeah, not exactly memorable. I don't remember much about that album at all, to be honest. Right, uh, double album, um, bit of classic doom metal trouble, Psalm 9 and The Skull. On the nice gate fold. All right, uh, right near the end now. We've got two more albums, both by the same band. Polish thrash heavy metal band Turbo, the last warrior there, and then we have Dead End. Uh, this one, I've got that image. See the skull there? That's painted on the top of my leather jacket. My leather jacket is basically uh, all skull themed, so yeah. I went with that on the top of, of, the, of the back of my leather jacket. So yeah, that's cool. In fact, just stay there, I'm going to show you my leather jacket now. There you go, can you see that on the top there? It's a bit worn now, a bit worn by the ravages of time. And of course you've got the forbidden skulls crashing together, and then you've got the overkill, and then you're at the bottom, Nocturnus, on the sleeves. You've got Human by Death. Got a, car, well, a comic book character on the sleeve here called Martial Law, and on the back you've got one of his enemies, Suicider. I'm not too sure if you can see that very well. And then over on this sleeve, we've got the. Uh, I can't remember the name of the album now. Is it Total Overkill or something like that by Sodom? No, it's Destruction, isn't it? It's Destruction, not Sodom. Yeah, and then we've got another uh, cartoon character called Etrigan the Demon, is another comic book character. Anyway, that's it. I'm off. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about one of my demo tapes. Be back on Thursday to show you some free metal samples or free metal CDs, whatever like, you know, downloads you can pick up. Uh, tune into my podcast on a Sunday and stay tuned now because I'm going to play you a track, oh, I'm going to play you a video by Kwana. So, enjoy. Huona, ärsyttävä, Otto kahdeksan. I'm not
sinä kuvauksena niin saada paljon tavaraa paskaksi? Niin <tos> <tos> on mennyt paskaksi kuin yksi jääkaappi vastaan. <tos> Joka ei... Sulake, sulake, kahden tamperin. Sulake, peitsi, hinta. 